good people it's been a minute it's been a minute since i've made a video i'm really trying to get used to it again yeah i'm gonna be talking about my top five horror films now this this is just an idea that came to my mind and i didn't really know how to approach it because the last one isn't really a film it's more actually i don't want to spoil it you're gonna see around the end what i mean take everything i say with a grain of salt i am not a film student nor do i study film or have any qualification in it i am just a fan of horror movies and i just wanted to talk my piece let me keep this video short though there's only five things i'm gonna be talking about anyway if you like this video just make sure to go down there and hit the subscribe button also hit the like button and yeah number five is a movie called the sadness it's a taiwanese taiwanese it's a taiwanese horror film and it's, it's kind of like zombie s but the zombies aren't really the main thing I and mean, they kind of are really if i really think about it now really what i'm trying to say is the blood the blood and the gore is the main thing if you are looking for a horror film with some really disturbing scenes then the sadness is a film to watch now bear in mind yeah it's fifth on the list but really it's like a number one the order of my list isn't isn't a ranking from best to worst it's honestly just a collection of films that i enjoy now one thing i'm gonna do is actually check out the trailer because i really want you guys to see this and see what i'm talking about here this is the trailer guys i want you guys to see this 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 when i saw this it made me want to watch the film straight away Bear in mind, the concept in this film is the zombies aren't really zombies, they're just humans and they have like no moral compass basically. Yeah, see we got this creep right here. I actually don't think I could put this on the shoe. Yeah, the death. The death is insane. The goal in this film is insane. It actually is the most violent film you will ever watch. But yeah, I'm not even gonna spoil it for you guys. I'm gonna let you guys check that out. But what they be doing in Taiwan stays in Taiwan because that shit is crazy. Number four is actually a film made by a couple of YouTubers and it's called Talk To Me and I've watched this film like three times already since it's come out. I've never seen a horror film that uses a hand, you know? Like, just keep it simple. I've never seen a horror film that uses a hand and really takes you through a uh, a journey with it. There's this hand that, like, possesses people and you see some really, like, like twisted stuff in this film. If you like a film that escalates really quick, well then, hey, Talk To Me is the one. But, yeah, let me go back. So, it's made by a YouTube group called Raka Raka. If you don't know, then now you know. The acting in this film is actually spot on. There's a girl by the name of Sophie. She goes by the name of Mia in the film but oh my god the acting is like it's actually so good she really switches up her character and you really really get convinced that this girl is possessed and what i like about the direction in this film is that you get to see things from her perspective whatever distorted reality she sees you see as well so talk to me definitely check it out number three is a film people all know about i'm pretty sure we should if you watch horror but it's the babadook it's such a simple film um and it's a creature feature but i'd say it's more of a psychological one you get a book and there's this weird uh weird weird it was weird even a word but weird creature in it and you can't get rid of it it just haunts you until forever honestly and yeah this this movie is good with like you know when you're a kid and you uh, you're laying in bed and you see like the the the, the pile of clothes that look really odd and weird in the corner of your room well babadook really tries to do that and 
I say it's a success. When I first watched it, it it did get me a little bit. It got me actually, you know what? Let me not even try to cover it up and act like I wasn't sl like slightly un uneased. But yeah, the film the film's a good film to watch if you are into horror. And if you haven't watched it, definitely watch it. Number two, really, I'm I put Scream Six as number two. However, I'm really referring to the whole franchise. But I'm just saying Scream Six because it's the modernized version, and I really like how they did it. It's really polished and and just there's just some cool like there's just some fucking sick shots in there you got you got Ghostface walking through the store with a shotgun and like it's just something about it i don't know what it is i'd say if you haven't watched the old ones you can still watch scream 6 and scream 5 i think without any context um wow great my light turned off you may notice that like there's some uh trilogy characters if that's the right word or like old characters but to be fair it's not you're not gonna lose out much in the story if you don't know them just watch it and enjoy it honestly Scream six definitely a shout now we are getting to the one that i actually wanted to talk about really it's really um great the lighting now this one is this is where horror gets real now this is where horror gets real this is the this this what i'm about to talk about right now is is literally the essence of horror like captured into this whole one thing and if you've watched this it literally it it brings to surface those fears that you kind of forgot about and those things that you don't really think about because they were just fears that you had when you were a kid and this weird thoughts you had when you were a kid you know for example after you watch a horror film you watch something a little dark a little scary and you don't want to walk through the hallway at night to go use the toilet or go to the kitchen to grab a snack it's literally that captured in in a subgenre and i'm talking about internet horror i'm talking about i'm talking about analog horror and especially this thing called skinnamarink 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 it's a weird word but it's literally what i explained and instead of actually talking about it i'm just gonna react to some skinnamarink I want you to see that uneasiness that it literally gives you okay cool Whew. i don't want to watch this but for your sake for you guys i'm going to watch it i actually don't want to fucking watch this see i, I already don't want to watch this run into the tunnel you have to go as fast See, that was only 30 seconds but you get like it's a little uneasy it's just weird like what is this and i don't know why but it's it just stays in your mind rent free when you ask for it not to and when i step away from recording now i'm gonna still be thinking about this stuff but this was a light one this was a light one i'm gonna try to find one that's like more you know in this house You see what I mean? It's just shots of weird, like, unclear scenes. Like, I'm, I don't, I, I think that's a living room, but in, in this pitch darkness, you can't really tell what the fuck you're looking at. In the there, that, that, that is exactly what I'm talking about. See now, I could talk about Scream, and it's just a slash. You're not really put in to the film. You don't really feel like you're there. You're just watching people experience horror, if you get what I mean. And you're at this, like, kid's eye level. So you're so small. You're, you're made to be so small in this situation and experience these weird looking things, isn't it? This house. In this house. The, the door just disappeared. Wait, 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 wait. That was a person standing in there. Right? 
Bear in mind, I've never seen this video, but I just know like what this is and what it's about. I've never actually gone out my way to actually watch it because I didn't want to be horrified. In this house. Like, tell me, why is he sitting there in a dark ass corridor? Not even facing the camera, at least. He's just there, and it's really, like, uneasy. In this house. Okay, we got blood on the walls now. I couldn't let it play any longer because it was just too quiet for too long. And then the moment I pause it, it, it says this, like... Huh. Oh. But yeah. That's Um, I know you're looking at it and you're like, what the fuck is this? This isn't typical horror. I'm telling you, sit in a dark room by yourself and watch this Mac volume headphones on and you will, you will feel what what I'm trying to speak about. But yeah, that's Skinamarink and that's internet horror as a whole. I'm gonna definitely check out more videos. If you remember the whole trend going around the back rooms and internet, the internet is really experimental when it comes to horror. There's one that like, clip that I really wanna find, but I oh, this. Uh, this is someone else's video, but I just want you to see this. This is literally a terrifying scene and I don't know why, but look, that. That is fucking... I don't know what it is, man. Yeah, that's Skinamarink. If you found out something new today and there's any of these things that you definitely want to go check out, like, for example, The Sadness, that was a gory-ass film. And I don't even know if I can even put it in the video, but I'm gonna see. And also, make sure to throw me a like, a subscribe. Let me know what else you want me to discuss or react to. And yeah.